Malachim Shani, 2 Kings 15. In the twenty and seventh year of Yaravam, king of Yashara'el, began Azar Yahu, son of Amatz Yahu, king of Yahuda, to reign. Sixteen years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned two and fifty years in Yerushalayim. And his mother's name was Yakolayahu. Rather, Yakol Yahu of Yerushalayim. And he did that which was right in the sight of Yahuwah, according to all that his father, Amatz Yahu, had done, save that the high places were not removed. The people sacrificed and burnt incense still on the high places. And Yahuwah smote at the king, so that he was a leper, unto the day of his death, and dwelt in a several house. And Yotham, the king's son, was over the house, judging at the people of the land. And the rest of the acts of Azar Yahu, and all that he did, are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yahuda? So Azar Yahu slept with his fathers, and they buried him with his fathers in the city of David. And Yotham, his son, reigned in his stead. In the thirtieth, rather, in the thirty and eighth year of Arzar Yahu, king of Yahuda, did Zakar Yahu, the son of Yaravam, reign over Yashadael in Shamaron six months. And he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahuwah, as his fathers had done. He departed not from the sins of Yaravam, the son of Nivat, who made Eth Yashadael to sin. And Shalom, the son of Yevesh, conspired against him, and smote him before the people, and slew him, and reigned in his stead. And the rest of the acts of Zakar Yahu, behold, they are written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yashar El. This was the word of Yahuwah, which he spoke to Yahu, saying, Your sons shall sit on the throne of Yashar El unto the fourth generation. And so it came to pass. Shalom, the son of Yevish, began to reign in the ninth and rather in the nine and thirtieth year of Yuziyahu, king of Yahuda, and he reigned a full month in Shomoron. For Menachem, the son of Gadi, went up from Tertza and came to Shomoron and smote Eth Shalom, the son of Yevish, in Shomoron, and slew him, and reigned in his stead. And the rest of the acts of Shalom and his conspiracy which he made, behold, they are written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yashadael. Then Menachem smote Eth Tifkach, and Eth all that were therein, and at the coasts thereof from Tertza, because they opened not to him. Therefore he smote it, and at all the women therein that were with, the ch with child he ripped up. In the nine and thirtieth year of Azariahu, king of Yahuda, began Menachem, the son of Gadi, to reign over Yashadael, and reigned ten years in Shomoron. And he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahuwah. He departed not all his days from the sins of Yaravam, the son of Nivat, who made Eth Yashadael to sin. And Pul, the king of Ashur, came against the land, and Menachem gave Pul a thousand talents of silver, that his hand might be with him, to confirm the kingdom in his hand. And Menachem exacted the money of Yashadael, even of all the mighty men of wealth 
of each man fifty shekels of silver to give to the king of Ashur. So the king of Ashur turned back and stayed not there eth in the land. And the rest of the acts of Menachem and all that he did, are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yashra'el? And Menachem slept with his fathers, and Peachayah, his son, reigned in his stead. In the fiftieth year of Azariahu, king of Yahuda, Peachayah, the son of Menachem, began to reign over Yashra'el in Shomron, and reigned two years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahuwah. He departed not from the sins of Yaravam, the son of Nivat, who made Eth Yashadael to sin. But Pikach, the son of Remal Yahu, a captain of his, conspired against him and smote him in Shomron, in the palace of the king's house, with Eth Argav and Eth Aryah, and with him fifty men of the Giladim, and he killed him and reigned in his room. And the rest of the acts of Pechachiah and all that he did, behold, they are written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yashadael. In the two and fiftieth year of Azariahu, king of Yahuda Pichach, the son of Remariahu began to reign over Yashadael in Shomoron and reigned twenty years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahuwah. He departed not from the sins of Yaravam, the son of Nivat, who made Eth Yashadael to sin. In the days of Pichach, king of Yashadael, came Tiglath, Pil Eser, king of Ashur, and took Eth Leon, and Eth Evel Beit Ma'aka, and Eth Yanach, and Eth Kedesh, and Eth Chetzor, and Eth Gilad, and Eth Galil, all the land of Naphtali, and carried them captive to Asherah. And Husha, the son of Elah, made a conspiracy against Pichach, the son of Ramaliahu, and smote him, and slew him, and reigned in his stead. In the twentieth year of Yotham, the son of Uziyahu, and the rest of the acts of Pichach, and all that he did, behold, they are written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yashadael. In the second year of Pichach, the son of Remaliahu, king of Yashadael, began Yotham, the son of Uziyahu, king of Yahuda, to reign. Five and twenty years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned sixteen years in Yerushalayim, and his mother's name was Yarusha, the daughter of Sedach. And he did that which was right in the sight of Yahuwah. He did according to all that his father Uziyahu had done. Howbeit the high places were not removed. The people sacrificed and burned incense still in the high places. He built at the higher gate of the house of Yahuwah. Now the rest of the acts of Yotham and all that he did, are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yahuda? In those days, Yahuwah began to send against Yahuda, rather, in those days, Yahuwah began to send against Yahuda, Ratzin, the king of Aram, and Athpichach, the son of Remal Yahu. And Yotham slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David, his father, and Ahaz, his son, reigned in his stead.